Hello friends and adventurers, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays Exile 2 Crystal Souls. I am here in Blosk, having dealt with some inventory. Since I have so much gold, I've decided to just donate some of my extra weapons and armor to the training hall over here. But, speaking of inventory, I finally equipped the Boots of Speed onto Trouble. They should give him an extra AP here and there. Hee hee hee, the fun we shall have. Other things of note are... Uh, we got a Bronze Ring of Regeneration at some point, and that is going on Kazul right now, because she is the farthest from her maximum health at the moment, and has quite a lot of health to lose and regain. Also, while we're here, what does the Ick Scroll do? <coughs> you feel very, very ill. Kazul is poisoned. I see. I'll just drop this here for educational purposes. Ooh, Kazul is very poisoned. Kazul is still poisoned. But yeah, you can see that I haven't even moved and Kazul's health is already going up just a little bit faster than everyone else's. So, with that, we shall take our leave of town and head onward to the north. Since we can't go through the Scree Caves, we're going to have to explore the northern reaches of exile on foot from this side of the little river that takes us to the Grey Mold. So we may need to beware of giants in this region. There is an obelisk here, recently placed. There is a blue rectangle painted on it. Those blue empire passes we have should come in handy then. Is there anything of interest down here? Old quarry. Ha. Okay, is there anything of interest beyond just dead ends? Possibly yes. There is a small village of giants crammed in the back of this small, isolated cave. They've built a large fence in front of it, and seem quite prepared to slay you if you approach. One of them shouts in a deep, booming voice, You Empire! Obscenities! Won't capture us! We'll die first! Odd. They seem to think you're with the Empire. You guess that to the giants, all you humans seem the same. And it's not like Exile exactly has a great track record of not killing giants. Giants are notoriously poor conversationalists. When you try to speak to them, they throw a few warning boulders your way. You back away. I could see if fighting them is at all worth it. You peer into the large huts and stone longhouses of the giant clan. You find nothing of value. This was a very poor band indeed. Aw. In one of the now abandoned giant huts, you find a heavy pot of silver nuggets. Yay, more gold we didn't need. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's not really worth it. Even if we weren't loaded with cash. Unless for some reason you really, really like fighting giants. Hello, are you guys Empire? The Empire Patrol approaches and tells you that you need a red pass to be in the area. You proffer your red pass, and they let you go. Okay then. And another one, and the only point of interest left is through here. Ahead, your way is blocked by a heavily defended Empire checkpoint. You could try to finesse your way past, or you could try to blast your way through. Yeah, heavily fortified Empire checkpoint? Hmm, I want to save and try attacking. 
because I am sure this will end badly. You charge. The guards seem relieved to finally get some action. That is a lot of enemies. As curious as I am to find out if I can still get through the guard post after slaughtering everyone, that's a lot of high-level enemies. We'll just bluff our way past. A bored guard asks for your blue pass. Tense, you get it out and hand it to him. He looks at it, nods, and hands it back. As you pass, you hear him chuckle and mutter something about damn traitors. Okay. Hmm. Empire folks and giants up there. There is a large stone fence here. You slip through the gate. To the north is the rest of exile. To the south is a fenced-in cavern, filled with mushrooms, overly fragrant lizard dung, and a large variety of reptiles. This must be one enormous stable. A group of lizards have decided you are put here to feed them. These are incredibly stupid giant lizards. Who wants roast lizard steaks? Okay, maybe all of those lizards can... Go feed their brethren. I'm sure uh, lizard cannibalism happens all the time. Empire tells us we need a red pass, and we are good to go. I doubt the giants will be as friendly. Nope, cave giants still hate us. Where was I? So, currently we are in Empire-occupied territory, what once was known as the Abyss. The road ends here. It's still being built. There's no workers around, though. Same message there. Another bit of road here. And another blue pass area there. Uh, relatively unhostile Empire Patrol and a town. Interesting. I don't think there was a town here before. You are at the southwest end of a large, barren area. The ground drops off into a huge chasm. On the other side, you think you can barely make out a ledge through the mist. Hmm. Too bad we don't have the Orb of Thralny yet. Barga to the west and Harston to the south. And another blue pass checkpoint. Can we actually get into Barga? Ahead are the enormous, well-guarded walls of Barga, a city formerly part of the Abyss, and now owned by the Empire. The doors are closed, and several murdered exiles hang outside it. Somehow, you don't feel you're going to get in. You sneak up close and watch for a while. The only people getting in are exile soldiers, and they're getting in not by showing passes, but by showing actual identification. There's no way you can fake that. 
you back off before you get killed. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be saying exile soldiers or empire soldiers there. I suspect it's supposed to be empire soldiers. Given the uh, exile strung up on the wall there. You find the ruins of a giant-sized fortress. Repeated blasts, magical and physical, have razed it to the ground, and hordes of looters have left nothing of value. Yeah, Empire doesn't really like giants that they do not directly control. Is there something back in there? I feel like there should be. Anyway, let's go investigate this town. The town of Harston in Empire Territory. Um, hi there. The guards here apparently can't say much about nothing. Hello, you're, you are not a guard. You meet a man with the flushed look of a recent arrival from the surface world. He looks at you disdainfully. He holds a rake and is quite dirty. I'm Pakrin. He snorts. I'm tending a crop of your foul mushrooms, that's what I'm doing. They sent me out here to grow crops for the troops. Me, a soldier, tending food fit only for maggots and exiles. You are very rude, sir. Okay, clearly he does not want to talk to us, except to complain about what his job is now. A plaque at the base of this rough statue reads, Empress Prazak, long may she reign. Yeah, hopefully I will be consistent enough in pronouncing Prazak's name. Prazak, Prazak, Prozak, something like that. Town. Seems to be walled in pretty well. Ah, yes. Talk to the sign. That is what I need to do. Sign reads, Empire Storage, do not enter. This storeroom silo is filled with empty sacks and open crates and barrels, many with the sword and crown symbol of the Empire. Looks like supplies are running a bit thin. Good. And this is a weapons shop. Sharon's Armory. There is a thin, middle-aged woman behind the counter, wearing a heavy leather apron and holding a pair of iron tongs. Sweat pours down her face. I'm Sharon, but people around here call me Mother. She spits into the forge angrily. Then she smiles in a not entirely sincere way. Making weapons for the Empire. And sometimes I do repairs. About the only thing I can do on my own, for my own money. But they're very special repairs. They make a non-magical weapon even better. Just a little spell I learned before the war, but a powerful one. It makes the weapon shoot flames on your command, but only a few times. Let me know if this is something you'd like to buy. Okay, cool to rediscover where one of the weapon augmentations is, but adding a few flame spells to one of my weapons is not something I want. She gestures at her shop. They brought me here, built this big shop for me, let me live, and all I have to do is forge for them. She smiles sadly and shakes her head. But you're exiles around these parts. You know the score. So, yeah, some people are here willingly, most aren't really. 
Sounds like Sharon is uh, basically a prisoner of war and impressed into Empire servitude in exchange for being allowed to live. We can buy web. Oh, okay. The buy weapon. The buy button only allows me to augment my weapons, and the magic wave blade should not count as a non-magical weapon, but apparently it does. Also, that is heckin' expensive. Huh. Yeah, the magic wave blade does not have the magic tag on it, so I totally can improve it if I want to. Hmm. Looks like mess hall. Ah, captain's office. I'm sure this guy will have only nice things to say to me. A man in the armor of the Empire sits at the desk. He has an almost alien appearance to you. He's not deathly pale. He must have come from the surface recently. He looks you up and down arrogantly. The pallor of your skin betrays you as a native. I'm Captain Anthony. I'm in charge here. What do you want? He laughs. What do you think? I run this place. And what's your story, you turncoats? We wouldn't be able to do so well down here if it weren't for you exiles. Everything we don't know, you help us with. All it takes is a little incentive. He pats his sword meaningfully. Still, I don't have any work for you now. I already got 40 adventurers running errands for me, so you'd better be moving on. Exiles we don't know, they tend to end up in accidents. It appears there's a few quizlings running around. Exiles who are serving the Empire to save their own skins. Ah, oh, nothing in here? Darn. Okay, just a bit of flavor furnishings. The Ready Blade, Fine Food and Lodging. And a kitty! A thin calico cat looks at you. It purrs. It rubs up against you, waiting to be petted. Aww. Meow. Always pet the kitty. A wretched, pockmarked man sits behind the counter hoisting a mug of strong, foul mushroom ale to his lips again and again. His hands twitch constantly. His voice rasps out of him. I'm Scab. He looks up at you, and his bleary eyes focus on you. Then they widen in surprise. Then they fuzz over again. All he says is, Hello, exiles. His voice grows very low. Exile. You're from there, aren't you? Traveling? You notice his hands aren't twitching. You're a long way from Vanatai lands. He lifts the mug to his lips, but you can see, now that you're looking, that he isn't drinking. Clever man. He mutters a few slurred words loudly, and then speaks very softly. You've been there. Your description's gotten around. Find Delaria. Ask her about the scimitar. Now go. He lifts the mug to his lips and takes a deep swig. Then he starts twitching again. Hmm. So perhaps a few turncoats, but also a few spies around here. Best step carefully. A burly man with the pallid look of an exile stands behind the counter. He watches you with distaste. I'm Carswin. This is my inn. Well, working for the Empire must be tiring work. There is a constant edge of contempt in his voice. I have rations for you, and a room is five gold. 
Okay, rations, kind of expensive. Not like we don't have the cash. Oh yes, we get plenty of exiles working for the Empire here. Around here, there's two sorts of exiles. Dead ones, and trait <clears throat> ones working for the Empire. He watches you warily, as if afraid you might attack him. I see. Um, can I get past you, please? Oh, darn it. Thank you. Hello, lizard. Lizard is not attacking me. The lizard hisses irritably at you. That is all it does. The cat is loose. Good for the cat. Cats cannot be contained. The sign reads, Suzanne's Sundries Shop. A tired-looking woman with the pale skin of an exile sits behind the counter. As you enter, she moves a pitiful collection of copper coins below the counter. I am Suzanne. I just reopened shop. I fled the abyss. I don't have much stock left, but you can sell me your goods. So she's got torches, lockpicks, and arrows. Very low-level stuff. And anything I might have wanted to sell, I already dropped off in Blosk. Renee the Sage. A dark-skinned woman sits behind the counter, making notes in a lichen paper notebook. She wears clothes that have been patched and patched again. She smiles. I am Renee. Welcome. She indicates the crude paper she uses and the rough state of her clothes. Making my way in hard times. It's rough going for a sage in a war. Her face lights up. You're interested? If so, I can identify items for a small fee. Well, that's cool, but we don't have any unidentified items right now. Well, we were told to look for Delaria and have not found her yet. Not in here. Sometimes I remember that Simmering can pick locks. You meet a short, very stocky woman with closely cut black hair. She eyes you carefully. The word abrasive doesn't begin to describe her voice. I'm Delaria. Jeez, don't feel the need to know or anything. I sit here and write. Just stuff to pass the time. Could you be a little bit more nosy? Her voice quiets down, but only a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm part of the Resistance. Not much left of us out here. Not after what happened to the Abyss. Big, ugly mess, that. I don't have much information for you, but I have a little. First, don't go west. The troops will kill you for sport. Second, Pyrog's cave is northeast. Big Empire Fort. Has a big magic lab, doing all sorts of weird things with weird things. Don't know what. Real well-guarded, though. Third, I know some things about the Northern Islands. Oh, do tell. Islands, to the north. Real remote. But the Empire has a dock to the northeast, past Pyrog's Cave. Well-guarded, but with some boats. I'm not sure what's on the islands, but the Empire thinks it's real important. Lots of stuff being taken up there. Ah. Valuable information indeed. Uh, let, a, let 
let us see what lies to the north. Well, there's a dock here. Okay. Must be a way back there somehow. Maybe I need the orb or maybe I need a boat. Let's use our blue pass yet again. And I believe this is Pyrog's cave. An Empire patrol decides that something doesn't look quite right about you. Some exiles are working for the Empire, but Empire troops are allowed to kill them if they want. That would explain why they don't question you before they attack. Oh boy. Okay, that hurt a little bit. So I know we were told about the docks and a potential secret entrance to the north of this cave. Let's see how tight the security up front is first. Pretty tight. Pyrog's Cave, now property of the Empire, apparently. We could do a frontal assault, but it's more fun to sneak in the back way, don't you think? We'll see how that goes in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody.